All right, my dudes, there is a very, very exciting package that just arrived and I want to unbox it with you. Okay, well, it didn't come in the actual box, but behold, but wait, there's more. I can't tell you how long I have been thinking about buying an iPad that's compatible with an Apple Pencil. And after the frustration that I've gone through with the current one that I have in the off-brand stylus and how hard it is to use with Procreate, I have finally broken down and bought one. Now I will say I am a cheap ass and this iPad is refurbished from Amazon. It's a Gen 6 iPad and it was like $350. It does have 128 gigabytes of memory and Wi-Fi and cellular. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, and the Apple Pencil obviously is the first gen Apple Pencil was like uh, maybe $90 on Amazon. So I told myself I'm still paying off the iMac. I can't justify dropping $1,200 for um, an iPad Pro. So we're gonna start with this, see how often I use it, see how much I like it, and then we'll go from there. But for now, let's, let's do this. So I have definitely felt in the last year and a half that I've had my Huion uh, screen tablet that my art has definitely improved, but there's something clunky about it now that I've got the new iMac where it just doesn't, it, it's, it's, it feels like it's drawing, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to describe it except that the drivers are updated and it's a little bit like pulling teeth to get it to do exactly what I want. Plus, I don't always feel the most creative when I'm sitting at my computer. I actually am drawn to do more admin stuff. So I have a feeling that if I have something where I can do digital artwork on the go, Ooh, don't be broken. Um, I'm gonna do more digital art. And I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like I am calling myself an illustrator and not actually illustrating. So time to change that. Plus I feel like I'm being left behind by not getting to use Procreate like everybody else is, even though it's not really the industry standard yet anyway. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Um, so it's just, I just want to, you know, be able to do the things that it does. And I know that it's a very um, intuitive program and there's things about it, things that it does that I wish Photoshop did. So, oh, look at that. Does it have the magnetic? There it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. I am literally getting ready to go to a convention, but I want to get this charged up and set up so that I can draw over the weekend. I will see you in the next part. Exception. <laughs> it is a vacation sign up. You want to go do it? No. Backside of water. Oh, thank you. 
I would have never known. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. shut the lights go in front of So I have been holding on to these for a little while, but I have had my first ever packages received at my P.O. box, and I'm so, so, so excited to dig into these, and I wanted to save it to do it with you guys. In all honesty, I've actually had these for a couple months now, but I was so busy with convention prep and all that stuff that I wanted to wait and like dedicate an entire vlog to opening my very first gift packages. So let's start with the first one I received. This one is from my friend on Instagram, Raspberry Cloud Studios. She was very kind to send me a little something. And this was the first one that I received. And I guess we're just going in. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. <gasps> Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to open this. I'll have to probably ask her on Instagram, but she gifted me something to do a giveaway on Instagram. So I'm gonna talk to her about all the details, so be sure to check out that in the next week or so that I'll be doing um, a co-hosted giveaway for something in here and something I choose out of my shop as well. So, woo! Oh my gosh, there's so many cute little things in here. Oh, okay. Oh, you've spoiled me. Everything is packaged so cutely. Oh, her enamel pin. Love it. It's super vaporwave and I love, you guys know that I love things in jars. That is adorable. Oh, I know these are stickers. Oh yes, these are going on my water bottle. Oh, 
Oh, so good. This one for sure is going on my water bottle because it's still very barren. This is a little note. I'll read, I'll read that last. <gasps> Mushrooms! Yes! This is so cute, but it's on craft paper. And I know that's a little stamp. They're so, so cute little mushrooms. Oh, oh my God, the little, yes. Everybody knows that I'm hardcore into the mushroom vibes right now. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, she didn't sign it. Adorable. Oh yes, oh yes, this is a greeting card that will probably be a Mother's Day card or something. Ooh, these are nice. Sticker sheets. Oh, these are awesome. Oh my gosh, some of these are definitely going on my water bottle as well. Okay, so that is my haul from Raspberry Cloud Studios. Let's read the little note. Ant Eater. Ant Eater washi tape. Freaking adorable. Oh, this is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Natalie. I love everything and I'm super excited to host a giveaway with you. So if you guys are watching, please check out Raspberry Cloud Studio. I will have them linked down in my description below. And keep an eye out for a giveaway that we will be doing together. Oh, what a way to start the day. Okay, so next, this is a lovely gift from one of my patrons who is so sweet, like so freaking sweet. I don't expect anything from my patrons. Like the fact that you guys have been subscribing to me for stickers and other stuff already is like more than enough than I, more than I could ask for. So please don't ever feel obligated to send me anything, but know that if you do, I'm going to be so freaking excited about it. So, and I was not expecting this to come in not only a box, but lemons. I freaking love lemons. Let's get into this. I don't want to damage it too much. It's so cute. I truly don't know what to expect in here. This is going to be a surprise because I don't know, I don't remember if Maddie has a shop or not. So, this could truly just, this is a wild card and, oh, I don't know, it's so exciting. Oh, oh, lemons with tea. Okay, but wait, oh, I want that sticker. Oh, I hope there's another one inside. Oh, oh my gosh, okay, oh, I don't know. Okay, this is all very nicely packed. This is cute, this is so cute. Look at that. I wish that that was not used so I could use it. Lemons with tea. <gasps> oh! Okay, I... Ah! She made my periwinkle! Oh my god! And it's a cute little notebook. This is gonna be my new, like, little journaling manifestation notebook. This is so precious. Oh my god. Oh, he's so... Oh. I'm gonna be, like, freaking out over this for the rest of my life. Oh my god. Stickers and a letter. More mushrooms. Man, you guys really know that I'm into the mushrooms right now. Oh my gosh, this has done so well. And I don't know what else is in here, but it, it's little boxes and I'm so excited, but I don't want to get ahead of myself again. Holy crap! Yes, it's another sticker! Oh! You can't, it's so long! Oh! These are so amazing! Lemon bat! 
You guys have no idea what I'm reacting to, but you will see soon. Oh my god, these look so good! I love all the flowers and the skulls! Animal Crossing! And ponies! Oh my god! This is insane! So many stickers, and they're such good quality! Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm not gonna read the, the letter word for word because it's very sweet and personal, but Maddie is opening her shop for the first time this winter and selling at a small store in her town called Market Mercado. And, ah, oh, I'm so honored that I can be an inspiration to you and help you build your business with my videos and tips and everything. Okay, I'm getting really emotional. Oh my god, these are amazing, and I'm gonna have to show you guys everything she spoiled me with. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at all of these little Animal Crossing stickers because they're so freaking cute! The quality of these stickers is so good, like, I feel kind of put to shame. Oh, I love them. Oh my god, I love them so much. Oh, and that's not even it! There's so much here that I've been spoiled with, and that's not even all of it. Look at how freaking cute these little Animal Crossing fruits and flowers are, though. So adorable. And the mushroom skulls. Definitely a favorite. Oh my gosh. Let's move on to the rest of this package, because there's more in here, and I don't even know what to expect. <gasps> oh my god! Is this a hair clip? Oh, I got kind of stuck to the fuzz. Oh my god. Okay, that is stunning. Look at that. Adorable. I love crystals. These boxes are so nice. And there's four of them. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, Maddie, you have spoiled me. This is so cool. Real cicada wings in a little jar. Oh, there's a note on the back. It says, found in northern MI. Is that Missouri? Passed by natural causes, no insects were harmed. This is so cool. I will have to do a close-up of that. It is so intricate and beautiful, and it's a necklace, and I'm gonna heck and wear it. <gasps> oh! Okay, so, <laughs> I must be very obvious with the things that I love, which I, I try to be because I can't help it. So we've got the fall aesthetic covered, and we've got the pink aesthetic colored, covered, and oh, I can't, I don't know which crystal this is on the, on the fall flower. It's like an orange iridescent one. Maybe a citrine? No, not maybe the little one, but I'm not sure. These ones are definitely quartz. They're so cute. Last one. Oh! More crystals! Oh, that is so beautiful. That is just stunning. Okay. I have been very thoroughly spoiled and Maddie, I'm sorry it took me so long to open this box and to let you know that I've opened it. I hope you didn't think it got lost or anything, but I wanted to wait for the moment that I was able to get to all of this and properly open it and all of that. So, thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Natalie. You both have made my entire month, and it's only the first. So... Yeah, I, if you guys are interested in sending me stuff, I will have my P.O. Box address down in the description below. Not an obligation at all. I am never expecting anything except junk mail in my P.O. Box at all. So the fact that I've received two extremely generous and wonderful packages is more than I could ever expect. So thank you guys so, so, so much. This is so amazing. So now that conventions are over, I think you probably saw in the start of this vlog that 
Um, I didn't really vlog at Stockton Con because it was my table was busier than I expected. I did better, way better than I expected, and I exceeded the goal I had in mind for these two conventions, which is amazing. But I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging for various reasons, so I didn't. But I got some clips of the Bass Pro Shop that is next to the hotel we stay at. So that's done, conventions are done, and as of today, I have dropped my Halloween launch which I'm calling Chunky Ween because I spent so much time on this one little like pattern-ish thing with several different color palettes and I couldn't decide so I produced all three of them and I have never done that before and I usually don't do stuff like that because it doesn't usually meet the expectations that I have so we're gonna see how well they do and I'm a little bit nervous because between paying off my credit card and paying the manufacturers for these products for October, my convention money is gone. So, and I've been very quiet on YouTube and on TikTok. And as you all know, TikTok is where I get 90% of my sales. And there's something about getting back into that that has me super hesitant and I'm not exactly sure how to tackle it besides just doing it. And when you have a lot of ADHD symptoms like I do and executive dysfunction, it's hard to just do a thing, even though you know it's so easy to just freaking do it. So I'm trying to ease myself back into that with plans and trying to not psych myself out too much about it, but yes. So I worked very hard on this shop update and I, I think it's gonna be the last one for the year. So grab what you want. The pre-orders are on my website only and they're very limited. And if they do sell out before the end of October, I will restock them and order more. So check them out. I've done tote bags, washi tape, stamp washi tape, um, sticker sheets, shaker keychains, and I've restocked the periwinkle plushes. So check it out. So yeah, otherwise I have not been up to a whole lot. I've been taking it very, very easy and drawing as much as I can on the iPad, but I'm kind of starting to feel like I'm back in that mode of like, what am I doing with my art? I'm not super excited about what I'm doing and when you, you know, when this is your full-time job and you're relying on paying your bills by being creative and putting out content on social media and you don't want to do that and you're not inspired to do that, it's very scary. So I'm going to try and take the rest of this year, not off, but easy, and try to just get back into the art. And the iPad, I think, is going to help with that because I can be lazy and sit around and draw at the same time. So I'm going to try and, and do more illustrating for fun and for learning so that I don't stagnate and maybe try to get back into some paints because I don't think I've touched paint at all in the year 2021 so far, which is incredibly strange to say. So yeah, I'm going to try and and find some inspirations and get back to my roots a little bit and reevaluate the way that I engage and consume and contribute to social media because the rate I'm going, it's not healthy and it's taking up a lot of my um, mental spoons, so to speak. So yeah, and I also would like to get into the business side of my business and try to finally, I've been telling myself since January I was going to do this, but finally actually registering my business, getting everything squared away for taxes and all that because I don't want any surprises. I don't want any hiccups or not lawsuits, but you know, legal trouble. I don't want to do anything wrong. So yeah, otherwise I'm going to try and knock out the last two months of Patreon way ahead of time so that I can just focus on everything else and see where it goes. But 
Yeah. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I have just revealed the October sticker club set, and it's probably one of my favorites so far. I know I say that every freaking month, but this one is definitely... It, it was an accident because it didn't really fit the theme that I had chosen or that my patrons had chosen, but it was very, very warmly received, and um, it was a lot of fun to make, and you can see this fun time lapse that I did of it, and I feel like I should stop talking because I don't know what kind of studio vlog this is going to be since it's been filmed over the last few weeks, and I will leave you there, so... Uh, if you guys have not yet subscribed, please do that because I am literally like less than five people away from reaching a thousand subscribers. So if you see that you are watching my videos and are not subscribed, please just click the button because you will make a small business, small artist's day and everybody loves to do that. So thank you so much to Maddie and Natalie for sending me packages. That was just the most lovely thing that I could ever ask for. Not even ask for, but just the loveliest thing. And thank you to all my patrons who have helped me not freak out over not having money at the beginning of the month. And I hope you guys have a freaking fantastic October. I will see you in the next one. Bye!